Good morning, guys. So, <laughs> it's 9 in the morning, and I'm waiting for Alex again. He's not really just my dive guide, he's my driver. Because today, we are going to go diving tonight. Don't worry. In fact, look at all this. Oh, Kevin. Look at all the stuff I have charging. I got two video lights, two. I bought these new lights for the truck. Because uh, we do all these night dives and I get out of the water and it's pitch black because we're at some random dive on the coast. And we end up trying to use my dive lights to see. So I bought these things. They're going to be awesome. Yeah, I got like four video lights, three of these things charging, my torch, uh, my camera, GoPro. <laughs> Everything's charging. But while that's charging, we're going to head to Dumaguete because I have an eye appointment. Uh, I want to get some new contacts. I feel like these are getting old and I need to update my prescription. So maybe I'll get a haircut today too. <laughs> Anyways, I hate going to Dumaguete, but let's go. Hmm? Critter hunter. So I'm trying to eat healthier and be healthier. I'm a lot more active now, and I'm making myself some goals for losing some weight this year. And I'm not going full keto, but I'm doing way less carbs and trying to do no sugar. And one of the things I'm doing is carrying this stupid thing around. Uh, my goal is to drink a gallon of water per day, which I tested it out yesterday or the other day. Not trying to, not trying to drink a gallon, but just to see how much I drink naturally. And it was way less. It was like less than half a gallon. Um, <laughs> so I'm having to force myself to drink. Basically, I'm just never thirsty. I don't know why. Um, but diving helps because I drink all down like uh, maybe half a liter before each dive just because if I'm dehydrated before a dive I can get cramps in my legs so diving helps but anyways let's see if I can drink a whole gallon of water today and I'm also trying to eat healthy no carbs or less way less carbs no right that means no rice which is like against Philippine policy <laughs> uh, But One recipe we did the other day was chopped up cauliflower. They actually call it riced cauliflower Chopped up cauliflower really tiny and then fried So it's actually not bad. So if it's better for you then whatever It's just cruel cruel that all the good stuff is the unhealthy stuff seriously cruel <laughs> Well, the other day I got bored and me and Alex built this little scratching post It's basically a piece of 4x4. Four four. Oh look he's using it. He's using it. What a show off Yeah, we just wrapped this 4x4 four four with some marine rope Got a little rubber thing on the top for when he knocks it over <laughs> Works awesome. I was just really bored one day and I don't want Kevin scratching the couch or whatever you're always playing you're such a terrorizer oh all right let's go find alex so guys i finally got this housing no i mean tray working um i was using a different tray that's a lot bigger and I wanted to try this one and I tried it on one dive so far and it was okay the tray was great small low profile but these handle these I was having a little bit of hard time getting the lights in the right angle um, so I'm gonna try it again but just paying more attention to what I'm doing and then yeah I got these uh these lights, they're gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really awesome when I get out of the water because uh, these got magnets 
and I just stick them on the side of the truck, on the back of the truck when we're taking our gear off and stuff. And before, basically, I'd get out of the water and Judea or whoever was around would just use my dive lights, my video lights, to like light up the area because we're out in the middle of nowhere, not at a resort, just at a beach somewhere. And there's no light. So these are going to be awesome. I have three. And yeah, it'll be way more convenient. We have a huge stack of masks at home because every time we leave the house, we forget and we have to buy a new one because they won't let us in the mall if we don't have a mask. So we have to buy another one and another one. And we leave them in Alex's car, but he's borrowing somebody's car today. So he's inside buying us more masks. It's not just masks, it's face shield. They have face shield too? Only one? Only one, look. Oh no. Judea can't go. We, we can go to 7-Eleven. I have, I have that. Oh, okay. There's a face mask for sale on the side of the road. Oh, in my straw. Auto Mention the, the, no, what is that? Eyebrows. Eyebrows. <laughs> okay. So it's okay with you to order this one? No, because we, uh, we don't have... Can you capture the eyebrows only the Alright. Eyebrows. Alright. Eyebrows. I love how in Philippines they just give you a glass of water. Hot water. Hot water for all the silverware. Sanitize. So weird. No, it's not. It's not. It's not like it's clean water though. Well, eye doctor's done. And I got a little thing for my light. I'll show you later. But now I need to go home and make sure everything's charged so we can do some more diving tonight. So I'll see you guys tonight at the dive site. I'm so happy to see you, man. What are you eating? What's in there? Not you. So today I, or tonight, I am diving at probably my new favorite dive site. And I brought along my friend Ethan. And don't ask me how to spell her name. She's Irish. Um, <laughs> But she worked for the MCP, Marine Conservation of Philippines. She's a... What kind of instructor are you? <laughs> She's a master instructor <laughs> with Patty. She's like the boss lady. And when she was working for the conservation peeps, they would cut... This is like their favorite dive site, yeah? You'd come here and count fish or whatever you do. And she, she told me about this last whatever episode ago 
I came here with Alex. Didn't I mean we found everything but not what I was looking for. I'm not even gonna say what we're looking for because if I don't find it you guys will yell at me. But she's gonna she's gonna show me around her favorite dive site basically. Uh, so what do you think we we will see for sure? Well, who knows? So this dive site I've dived like nearly every day for the past four years and it's just, I love it. I do most of my training here and it's just incredible. You have the muck side and you've got the reef side. And hopefully we'll see some surprise critters and lots of feeding coral. I love corals. Yeah, this side has all the, yeah, this side has a lot of coral on it. Huh? Yeah. So. so the right side has a lot of mud and that's where all the muck you guys saw in the last episode, fly boy, cuttlefish, I mean everything I could think of. But now we're going the other side where hopefully we'll find some rare shrimp. Who knows what? I don't I don't even want to speculate, but there's everything. Yeah. And awesome. it don't really matter. <laughs> we're gonna find something. So <laughs> I finally get to dive with my buddy Ethan and her husband. Yeah. Oh there you go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and so it's gonna be good. It's Don't never forget to mention her channel. Yeah, yeah. You, I'll put the channel link in her, <laughs> her in the description below. You can go check out her channel. I'm trying to get her, uh, get her to film more stuff because she's, she's a master. She's a fool. What are you again? <laughs> master instructor. Master <laughs> boss lady. So, she sees some cool stuff. But yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go get in the water. So I got a confession to make. In this episode, I don't have my best shots. This dive was kind of a relaxed, just laid back dive with my friend. And I wasn't really searching for those macro critters that I like to film and I get the best shots. But that being said, this is a pretty cool little robust ghost pipe fish. My wife says he's American because he's got green eyes. I saw these little razor fish and they're not good shots either but it's the first time I've been able to get close to them. They're really awesome. He was definitely blown out. He wasn't macro and I had it on macro settings and whatever he was just a cool little dude. This is a broad club cuttlefish and he was really good at hiding. I only got a few seconds with him and then he was down into the reef. So this is actually a giant sea star that this little uh, shrimp was sitting on. I've never seen this type of shrimp and even the sea star was really huge. There's even a little spider kind of sea star, I'm not even sure what the name is, crawling behind him. Anyways, I don't think this is an emperor shrimp, but he's really ugly to tell you the truth. But he's kind of cute too, he's, he's ugly cute. But yeah, I haven't seen it before. So this dive site is not my typical muck diving site. It's way too much reef and rock and formation. And it's the type of site that most people like to see. It's all nice and beautiful, but it's really hard to film the macro critters. They all go and hide in the corals and yeah, that's hard to get to. So this isn't my best photography results, but you know, it's just a fun dive. Okay, and I was trying to get a macro shot of a hard coral, and I guess that's what it looks like. This is a weird little hermit crab, but he was actually giant. He was like the size of a baseball. Well, it was pretty cool colors. I like hermit crabs, they're all, they're all different, they're all different colorations. This giant turtle was sleeping in a little hollow of a rock. It kind of goes to show what kind of dive site this is. Not my favorite kind of buck diving paradise, but it's one that more people will enjoy. A lot more to see. You're not just diving in the mud and the sand, there's just corals everywhere and turtles and stuff like that. I guess I woke this one up. At the end of the dive, about two or three meters, I ran into another reef squid and just kind of filmed him hovering around in front of my lights in the dark. 
it's a really relaxing fun dive and even a bad day of underwater videography is still an awesome day so that, that was a pretty good dive huh? fantastic we see she she studies or she's into coral right I love coral. so something i don't normally pay attention to especially at night it's so boring but then i look close and they're all fuzzed up and they're all, yeah, exactly so <laughs> all the polyps are all the tentacles are out and they're all feeding and oh my god super cool mm -hmm. yeah look cool and you saw a rare basket star you called it it's a beautiful basket star mm -hmm. i saw cuttlefish. yeah i saw some cuttlefish broad broad club I, maybe i don't know yeah broad club. and then uh at the very end of the dive i was filming a reef squid or something and like this and the giant huge sea snake went under me and scared the shit out of me because it's only like two meters <laughs> and then I'll, I turned to film him and then my tank exploded and I was like oh what is that it's like so loud in my ear but luckily I was at the end of the dive but the valve like broke <laughs> but definitely definitely a good dive especially at night lots of so many stuff <laughs> really come here <laughs> say hi <laughs> She didn't even dive today, you should be so embarrassed. <laughs> but, no. alright, see you guys on the next one. <laughs>